I want to solve some problems using the Topmax uh, manual lens 420-800. I've been asked this problem about focusing with the um, this lens. Some people are saying if you use that, just the camera like that, and shut shut it down, and that is the same as what they're getting with using the Topmax lens. If you can see it there, so that's a bit like there or in the sky I'll put so if you take a look at these shots there that one and that one and they're all very similar there's no focus at all so people are saying is it the camera is it the lens uh, well it's actually neither um, whatever you do is not what I've done there is but about not shooting outside without without cover on your on your lens there because on your camera because um you get dust in the sensor uh i've got loads of dust in the sensor so it's not going to make any difference to this one but uh under normal circumstances don't shoot outside without uh, any covering on your on your camera anyway so how we're going to do this is just fix that on there like that and we've done it at 420 which is the um the widest angle there which which is your push and pull for the 800 or more like right through the range anyway so what you're doing is basically just this on the 420 all you're doing is focusing with that so all you do is you touch it with that and that is what that is how how everything happens, how things go out of focus. And I'll just show you. I turn the camera around. So this is I've put this on uh, aperture mode. So people um, who maybe beginners or newbies to um, photography, it's easier for them to use um, AV, which is uh, the Canon's version of aperture. Um, you can actually use it on automatic, but I found that automatic, oops, um, it underexposes everything. So anyway, so what we're going to do is, we're just going to take a shot. And that's, that's really of nothing. So what we're going to do is, we're going to try and focus in on something. And we're just going, turning this to the right. I'll just put that onto live mode there. So, okay, so that... You cannot see anything that's right to the left um, at 420 so we just go focus in and keep focusing in going to the right and that's starting to come into focus things are starting to move into focus there and that's a shot that you could could use I've got uh, I've got some flowers in the garden so we're going to focus in on some flowers I hope you can see them, but this is the, the flowers there, they're a purple flower. Um, so again, we got, we had 420, the widest angle, and we just go on the barrel and just turn it to the right, so it starts to focus in. And we just always use a tripod with this, because it's very difficult to use without it. And now we're starting to get something, and everything's going to going to come clearer. And it's now starting to starting to take focus and this is not bad so if we took a shot with this there i think you'll probably be able to see i'll put the shots up just to to show you what i mean um but if it's just a little bit more a little bit more and that's that's good that's optimum another way you can stop shake is just setting your camera to two sec um well, live more there a minute setting your camera for two seconds there it go there's no shake with the tripod and that's quite a good shot that so always with this is is it isn't the easiest like i've said in other videos it's not the easiest lens to use this uh, top max 420 to 800 but it is about all all the focus and you can get worried that yeah you know something's wrong with your equipment but it's not really it's it's just that the focus is uh, not not as easy it's not an automatic focus um 
but uh, if you have any questions as always just get back to me and uh, thanks for watching and thanks for listening